Good evening, everyone, or good afternoon, everyone, should I say. I'm used to doing evening shows. <laughs> Welcome. Happy Independence Day. So just thought I'd have a little bit of fun, you know, test out my new design board here and just, you know, for auctions and all that. And I invited Lady Fantastic on to join me. So welcome, Lady. Thank you for joining. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. So, all right. Um, do you want to get started first or do you want to just um, chat and see if let, if let a few people come in? Yeah, let's chat for a little bit. Um, I want to see a couple people, maybe. Um, I don't know, man. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Oh. So, but uh, yeah. So yeah, getting nice out to here too. Gotta no rest for me. Gotta you know cleaning and all that. Did organize one of my sheds so now we can actually walk around in there. Ah, uh, Rob. Just <laughs> text, sorry, Rob just sure. texted texted and said he's out doing shopping. Uh, so, okay. Let's see. Let me do something real quick. Um. We got K Titus from Japan. So, yep. Uh -oh. too. Uh oh. <laughs> hey, K Titus. I hope you're doing well, man. Um, yeah, I hope you're doing well, too. Just have a little bit of fun. I would try and sell a few books. If not, just hang out. So, why not, you know? Yeah. All right. So we have about a couple of people in here now. We can start now if you want. Okay, man. Um, you want All right. Yeah. So do you want me? You want to go first, or do you want me to go first? Why don't you go first? Kind of establish like the rules or whatever, and then. Uh... All right. Well, just just a usual usual round here. Just uh, you know, we all we both have our shipping rates and all that. You know, I forgot to put my uh <laughs> my uh, PayPal here, but uh, anyone buys anything, you know, I'll just give you my email address, and you can send it out to me. And just the usual, just a few books of shipping. You know, um. Pay friends and family. We appreciate it. If you have Instagram to uh, Instagram, to in Instagram us your um, address and just pay us that way. So we should avoid any whatever with uh, PayPal. And uh, we have I have Lady Fantastic with me, um, Titus. So I will go and switch my camera over now for a one dollar round just to break the ice and see how it goes. So in the A slot here, I got. Man of Steel number one, a DC Silver Edition, Cable number six, Nightwing number 123, X Factor 69 with the date stamp up here, Silencer number 10, a shiny cover, and Terminator the Enemy Within number 104, a dark horse, a dark horse book. So this is a one dollar round. And I'm going to drop the starting line. So yeah, happy Fourth of July to everyone. So. Hope you're doing well, and I hope people like my board. <laughs> Got to redesign and have two more slots, so it just might mean I run out of books sooner. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I just actually posted something on IG. So yeah, kind of see and whatnot. Um, hey, James Watson and Spockman, K Titus. Hey, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, and hey, Steven, Steven Spock, I am so sorry to miss you. Welcome, man. Happy Fourth. So, just gonna do it for another a minute or so here. Just guys, give you a look at it. So it's a one dollar round. Anybody? Happy what? I was just saying. They said he said Happy July Fourth. I was like, hey, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Always happy to have a fourth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Let's go for a bit longer. So what kind of books do you have today? I have more um modern stuff and but uh I do have uh, I've got a bunch of I found a I have a bunch of extras from um New Avengers. I have a bunch of New Avengers, but I've got, you know, DC Marvel a um, little bit of everything, some independence. Yeah. Um, just ask, and uh, I will, <laughs> you know, I'll put it up. Okay, well, I'm switching the camera over to you for round two. All right, so this is going to also be a $1 round. And um, in the A spot, we have Swordmaster number one. In the B spot, we have Rocco's Modern Life number one. C spot, Marvel Superheroes Fall Special with Captain America. 
Um, and then D, we have Marvel Superheroes Winter Special. Um, e, we have um, Iron Man 176. F is Iron Man 177. G is X-Men Annual 8. And H is Uncanny X-Men um, Annual 17. Uh, these are all $1 each. Nice. Drop your starting line now. Yeah, like the uh, got here, Captain America in round one there. So pretty cool. So hey, gotta get it bumping, man. Yeah. So yep. So yeah, just let us know if there's anything you want us to grab. You know, got a few stuff from here. Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's any auctions going on or uh, not today, man. Well, I figure they're if they're just a little fun, just to hang out. You know, at the very least, test out how I could, you know, how my board was working. You know. See if I can get a flow going because it's definitely a more interesting step. It takes just a little bit longer to set things up. You know, take things down the way I have it now. So this is a new uh, practice with the foothold. So thank cool. you everyone for joining. You know, realize that this might not be the best, you know, time to do anything, you know. But it's not the worst. Barbecues, <laughs> holiday plans and all that, you know, hanging out. So, but I figured why not, you know. You know, people might have things later on tonight, and people might just be, you know, relaxing, having the holiday off. So why not just get on and see what you can do? Heck yeah, man. So, all right, let me know when you want to call it. So you can, um, I, you can go ahead and move it, man. All right, I'll get that in there. And I have these round numbers here, so that way anyone sees anything they want after the fact, you can message us, and if it's still there, it's still there. So. It's something I like to try and do. So, all right, yeah. back over to me. I got Meet the Scrolls, number three. Um, Omec, number five, Lou 52. Hard Case, number one. And three 52 books, um, number week 15, week eight, and week four. So another $1 round here. If the line dropped. And we'll start. So round three is a go. So yeah, just let us know what you want. So how's everyone's holiday doing, you know? I uh, I got up and just like my cat was hungry, so I went to go get her some cat food. But then mm. I was like, damn, I'm gonna go to the used comic book store and see what's up. And I went and sniffed around and found some nuggets. Yeah. Um, I wish I had something in my actual town. I have to. I had to go 20 miles to go to my LCS. Of course, I work in the next town over, so it's no big deal every single day. Yeah. It's not like I can walk across the street and go visit one. <laughs> I feel you. But this is my first, my chance now to relax. I had my own honeydew list, which included cleaning out the shed. Yeah, so. that's pretty much what Rob uh, Rob's doing right now is a honeydew list, but um, for his roommate. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 We. I don't think we're hoarders, but then I look at all. Then I look at our sheds and go, "Man, we don't know how to put things away." <laughs> <laughs> so, you gotta organize and throw some stuff out. That's how it happens. I feel you, dude. Yeah. Well, James, pick up some more. Which one number do you want? Or letter do you want? <laughs> well, I'm glad everyone's having a good time so far. All right. Just give it a little bit longer. Whenever you're ready to, I can switch it over. Yeah. It looks like you're set up. Yeah. All right. Just get about another 10 seconds or so. Going once, going twice. 20 miles isn't that far. It's 30 miles to Orlando. Yeah, I can hear I hear you there. Of course, I don't have anything to complain about. I know there's areas in the country where you have to order books online because you don't have a comic shop for a couple hundred miles. So... I'm not one to complain about. So if I didn't have my local LCS, <laughs> I would have to go 100 miles to the nearest comic book shop. 
All right, switching over to you. Okay, guys. Um, it's not. Yeah. All right, so this round is a $2 round. And uh, number one is Centipede, number one from like the Atari run. Um, so they made a comic out of it, which I thought was cool. Um, uh, B is uh, uh, Sin City, That Yellow Bastard, part five of six. Um, C is Hellshock, number one. Uh, J. Lee is on the art. D is Kid Eternity, number one. E is The Resistance, number one, B cover. F is War Machine. Um, well, it's Iron Man, Director of S.H.I.E.L.D., but then War Machine, Weapon of S.H.I.E.L.D., 34. Um, G is Batman 63, and H is Silver Surfer number five. And so that is a $2 round. All right. Going to drop your starting line. Well, you're very lucky, Flash Ray. I wish I had that kind of... I wish I had that kind of uh, radius for my uh, for comic, uh, comic book options. I have a similar radius as he does. Very, very cool. All right. Let's see. Don't see anything yet. So, what number is that Silver Surfer? Five. That's cool. Bay Area. That's cool. Haven't been there yet. I've been uh, I've been south. Last uh, my only trip into California that I remember is in the San Diego areas. You know, it's yeah. about eighteen miles from the Mexican border. Shit, sorry, I'm just trying to. Where can I turn out? No problem. Yeah, I'm just trying to share a link. Um. Um, nothing, nothing. Berkeley Loan has seven shops that I see on Google. That's cool. Yeah, I would like to live in a city where I have, you know, a couple of options. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, what? So where are you at exactly in Colorado? Um, in the San Luis Valley. It's um, it's a small rural farming kind of area, you know potatoes and whatnot so i feel you but yeah it's a definitely a unique region in colorado you got mountains and you got the plain section and i'm like on the bowl you know it's in <laughs> southern colorado that the valley stretches into new mexico yeah you can go ahead man all right we'll go ahead and end that round all right i got a five dollar round here i got defenders number 99 a very cool looking Ghost Rider number 18 cover. I mean, I'm seriously debating on keeping that book, and I'm not into Ghost Rider. That's a sick book. Captain Marvel number eight, the uh, first appearance of Star. This is the third print, the limited, like 3,000 some copies. Power of Warlock number 14. Iron Man number 180 and 153. So, like I said, this is a $5 round. So. Round five, five dollars. Drop the starting line, and here we go. Anyone interested in one of these books, five bucks. Got a very, very cool set of old books here. Well, some old, <laughs> some new. Some borrowed, some blue. Well, that one's blue, and none of them are borrowed. <laughs> I borrowed them for myself. I said it was okay. Yeah. Anyone like some Ghost Rider? Let me know what you want. I might have it. Sorry. Hey, Cyborg Dag, how's it going? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Oh, hush up, dog. Someone got a little too close to him in his sleep. He doesn't like that. Uh oh. Well, my dog is a good boy, but he has an attitude. Yeah, my cat has an attitude as well. Well, yeah. It is what it is sometimes. Attitude. <laughs> yeah. Nothing? I just thought that would be gone in a hurry. 
Maybe you need to see it a little bit closer. I mean, that is a sick book. Yeah, I saw that one. Is 18? Number 18? Or number 18, yeah. I mean, that is really, really cool. All right. Better go for a little bit longer. Apparently, uh, don't recognize the crazy value here. <laughs> Because I'm serious, like I said, I'm not into Ghost Rider, but that is a really wickedly cool cover. So. Yeah, it's one of the nicest in that series, actually. It's yeah. one of, probably one of the best covers in that run. All right, well, it's still here. I'm going to end the round and send it back over to you. Um, all right. So this is going to be a $1 round. And... Um, what I've got here is um, in A, I've got um, Batman Confidential, number one. Um, B, I've got Punisher 2099, number one. C, I've got Ghost Rider 68. D, I've got um, Sword of the Atom um, DC Special, number two. Um, art by Gil Kane, bro. Uh, e is Superman Action Comics, number 28. F is Azrael, number one. G is Avengers 244, Volume 1. Um, and H is uh, Indestructible Hulk Special Number 1. These are all $1 comics, guys. All right. You're going to drop your starting line. That uh, The Superman there on E looks like it's like a C or something. Or because it doesn't quite look like uh, the Kingdom Come logo, but... <laughs> Looks a little different. So you're just gonna chill tonight? Like I don't like I don't want to go out in public. I'm not gonna go and be because like so many people don't want to wear like the protected gear. I'm yeah. Like, I'm not. Yeah. No. I mean, I don't go out. We don't go out too much anyway because we like to after our work days. We like to just. Hang out at home. I mean, our idea of going out is going to dinner, and that's it. You know, or going to dinner. Man. But yeah, it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's like I wear my mask just because I want to, you know, protect my family the best I can, even if it's not beneficial so much. But it's like, why not? All I know is that, like, in Tennessee, the cases are skyrocketing, and like it's scientifically proven that wearing wearing masks reduces like your chance of transmission, uh, and so it's like you know even though I may not really care if I get it, I just want to be respectful of other people because you never know like what other people are dealing with health wise, and I just feel kind of like it's my ethical responsibility to not be a douchebag. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um. You can go ahead and go yours if you want, man. All right. Going in the round here. Got a $3 round now. Got Silver Surfer, issue number 22. Wonder Woman, number 66 of the current run. Um, Spider-Man, number three. Uh, you know, Miss Marvel and Miles Morales. Conan the Barbarian, number 87. Uncanny X-Men, 278. And The Invaders, number 34. So a little bit of water damage and a spine roll, but not too much of a uh, a problem. So start the starting round seven now for three dollars. So thank you everyone for watching. I do we do appreciate you hanging out, you know, just with us. Like I said, just here having fun, testing out my new board, see it, just getting the getting the uh feel of it doing an auction before i'm doing anything before i do it in another time so and why not so yeah you know if this doesn't if this turns into just a real short chat fest you know let's hang out no big deal yep so. i don't have anything to lose man yeah nothing to do but spend some time so <laughs> so Watched uh, that uh, Hamilton the, Ham the Ham Hamilton musical that came out on Disney Plus last night. What do you think? 
Is it good? I haven't watched it before. It I was actually it. pretty good. I was, exp I mean, I'm, I'm a, I don't like musicals in general. I mean, there's a very few where I get, I get, I like the songs kind of a thing. Yeah. But I never liked musicals because, like, I want, I don't, I want more acting and a little less singing, you know. But uh, I feel you. I liked the, uh, I liked the songs and all that. But then again, I'm also, I'm also a history person, so I'm going. That's not quite right. I know that's not quite right. That's good. And I didn't, I don't think that, I don't think that's accurate. I think you're just doing that because Burr shot Hamilton and you're trying to create more of a connection between the two. Now I need to go back and reread the book to make sure I uh, have all my, my information correct. So. <laughs> Alexander, uh, sorry, not Alexander Hamilton, but um, Aaron Burr was a bit of a dick. Well, when pride's, when pride's the most important thing in representation. You know, it uh, tends to be a dick uh, masculinity. <laughs> so I wonder, like, in a duel like that, what if they both miss each other? Do they keep firing? Is in, that the duel's rules, or is it one shot? In a duel, I believe it's one shot. You can talk it over again. If you still can't re reach a resolve or something, you can take a second shot if both parties agree to it. And then after that, I think it's basically over with, but I'm not sure. There's rules and reputation. Like you don't, you don't have to shoot at each other. Cause there's like the, part of the thing that are singing about the 10 steps where there's multiple times where they kind of sort of get together to discuss what went wrong or what, what the disagreement was to try and work things out. Cause the ultimate, yeah. the ultimate end is to not have the duel in the first place. Right. So one shot says Steven Spock. So, okay. I yeah. might, so yeah, but one shot. Or read about where it's just like they both shot and they fucking missed and it was over. Yeah. Well, because then your, re your reputation secure because you were man enough to show up. You were man enough to be shot at. So exactly. have a good day. So all right, gonna go and end this round. So apparently the fish are not biting today. Oh <laughs> uh, man, it's a day where so many people are doing shit. But yeah. It's good for you to test your stuff out and. Man, I'll, I'll, I'm here with you. I'll, I'll help you. I don't care. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. So what do you have now? Um, so I have a $2 round. Um, so in A, this is uh, Call the Hate Witch, number one. B is Return of Wolverine, number one. C is Savage Wolverine, number one. D is Aquaman, 50. E is Legion of Doom, 35. F is Black Adam, one. G is Lex Luthor one, and H is Sinestro one. That is a, it's a two dollar round. Nice, nice. All right, I'll get you there in a second. Say Lex Luthor one. Oh, there it is. Okay. I was thinking of something else. My bad. Lex Luthor. Yeah, I'd like to get a setup where I can get maybe like 12 or something, but I'm, I'm not sure if I can do it or not. Yeah. Well, like I said, it was mainly just to test mine out. So, you know, like I said, I almost thought about just skipping part of the logo, you know, the shipping thing there and just doing eight. And like I said, I could still do that. I could still take that down and just have anything shipping related scroll down there across the bottom. So it is what it is. So, yep. But I still, still like the whole just displaying it right there. So that's why I just didn't do it for now. Plus, Six is more than the four that I had. But thanks everybody, but for just kind of coming and watching. I mean, we not we may not sell a damn thing, but it's okay because we're talking comics and just goofing off. <laughs> yep, yep. So from Colorado to Tennessee, welcome, welcome, and thank you for showing up. Yo. We'll leave the east and west coast alone because everyone knows it's the middle. That's the fun part. <laughs> so 
What's it? Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, um, and whenever you feel like this round has run its course, you are more than welcome to. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Go ahead and end it. Switch yep. it to me. All right, more three dollars. I got Wolverine number seventeen of Marvel Knights uh, storyline. I think X Men number nine of Wolverine Ghost Rider cover Detective Comics six thirty one. Uh, new X Men number one thirty. The all new Captain America number five and the current run of Spider Man Amazing Spider Man number forty two, and also a buy it now of Detective Comics five. Oh, 359, the Toys R Us reprint of the first appearance of Batgirl, the modern Batgirl Barbara Gordon. So, CG's cool. going to two and 50 bucks. So, very cool. Found nine, the three bucks drop off the starting line. So, that's another reason why I set up six instead of the, the eight, is I could also put that there and then put mm -hmm. a slab or some a buy it now option here yep. in front of it. Because beforehand I had to squeeze things in to kind of sort of show it. So, but now with this setup here, I can do a little bit more, a little more comfortable. Very nice, very nice. So, welcome everyone. It's got seven people in the live chat according to the clock. So, Woo, so wild and crazy. Yeah, the good times. We hit that seven. Lucky number How's seven. On, Wayne? So. Yep, yep. Anyone interested in anything? Anything you're looking for? There are no fireworks on this show. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're inside. That's kind of a fire hazard. So. But yeah, I saw this book earlier. I thought it was pretty cool. Just a really cool Wolverine. Oh, uh, you want me to hold the slab up? All right. One second. So, like I said, it looks exactly like it. Uh, of course, the other one, I think, I'm not sure if it has that checkerboard thing, whatever, but yeah, it says it's the Toys R Us special replica edition. Reprints. First appearance of Batgirl. So. So, pretty nice. So, yeah, 50 bucks and $15 shipping for that. So, all right. Let me know if anyone's interested in anything else. Another, about another 30 seconds here. We'll end the round for you. All right, go ahead and end it. Back over to you, Miss Lady. All right, so this is um, also a one dollar round. Uh, I can just sorry, I get a little anal retentive. Um, this is a one dollar round, and A, we've got not brand ek, uh, 14. So it says four Bushman returns, part one of one. Uh, B is Agent Carter, number one, variant. C is Contest of Champions, number seven, variant. D is Marvel Knights, the Punisher, number one. E is uh, Doom 2099, number one. F is Shuri, number one, variant. G is Doctor Strange, uh, 49. Um, and H is Uncanny Avengers, number one. This is a $1 round. All right, starting round 10 for a very reasonable buck, buck, buck. So. Yeah, it would be a little more easier with one more person in here, so it wouldn't be quite so. Got to get everything in here before. Yeah, it's really, it's really, um, with the more people, the easier it is. Yeah. Well, that's fine, dude. We're, we're beasts. Yeah. Well, I like the look of that Avengers cover on H. 
I mean, if you want it, I can throw it in your pile. Well, let's let me, uh, I see Thor or Thork. I see Thor. Uh, what's what's her name? Scarlet Witch, Captain America, Wolverine. Um, War Machine, I think, is on there. War Machine. Hey, CFAB, welcome and thank you for coming. And what's hey, that? Dude. What's that guy in the top right? Um, Punisher. Oh, the top right. Oh, you meant the. Yeah. Oh, this, uh, this is Havoc. That's yeah, right. not War Machine. That's Havoc. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. But, um, Wolby, Cap, Rogue, um, Scarlet Witch, Havoc, Thor. That's cool. So, yeah, welcome, CFAP, and thank you for stopping by. Just a little holiday auction, you know, just testing out my board here and just so I can get the hang of it. So, happy 4th of July to everyone. Hope it's doing good. After this, I'm going to watch one of the Independence Day movies or the Mel Gibson's The Patriot, so... Oh shit! Well, it's one of my uh, one of my uh, routines I do for the Fourth of July. I know I like to watch, you know, one of those kind of movies, and I always look at the uh, always just go. I always look up and go back over the you know Declaration of Independence. Just something sentimental I do. I like to do for uh, just something I like to do because I love history. Just to remind myself what it's all about. Yeah, I mean. If anything, we're definitely a product of the European Enlightenment. Yeah. Welcome, Chris. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for showing up. Yeah, we love comics. Hey, man. Hope oh, all your good. cats are doing well. Oh, boy. Good to see you here. So, all right. Let me know when you want to end the round. So, well, you go ahead, man. Let me go ahead and move to you. All right. You stay safe down there in Florida, Chris. You know. All right. So. Another three dollar round here. I got Guardians of the Galaxy number two of Thanos uh, cover. <laughs> Batman number four ninety four. Ultimate X Men issue number eight. A really cool Storm cover. The new X Men number one fourteen. Wolverine number twenty one. He's gonna be mad at you unless you buy him. And uh, what if Wolverine had Alpha Flight number fifty nine? So. We are gonna get this round started for three bucks. This is round 10, 11. So, here we go. America, fuck yeah. Yeah, nothing says Happy Independence Day like uh, Wolverine and uh, the Canadian flag. So, <laughs> there you go. Well, they are almost the uh, 14th state, but Benedict Arnold and Couple other guys just couldn't get a hold of Canada. <laughs> it was lightly defended and easy for the tanking, but those Canadian winners, man, they don't fight fair. Or that, or it's like uh, Russia. It's too damn cold. Yeah. Well, all they had to do is really capture two cities in Canada, and they would have been ours. But then well, again, chances of beating it. Thank you, Chris. I will shut up, cat. Sheesh. Yeah. We had to adopt the loudest one with an opinion. I love it. <laughs> we call him Aries, which is kind of fits out the God, you know, God of War. <laughs> we like to do God names with our with our animals. We got Zeus. We had we had uh, Thea, Thor, Aries, Luna, uh, which is both. Uh, oh, Luna was more Harry Potter named, but <laughs> I uh. I get real uh, creative with mine. My cat's name is Miss Kitty. Yeah. <laughs> well, my mom, we we're, uh, my mom, oh, my wife was working at a big R one time and she said one day at work, you know, cause you're allowed to have dogs in there or whatever, bring your dogs in there. Well, yeah. the dogs got off the leash. It was a, it was a bulldog and a Shih Tzu and they named it bullshit. Yeah. And so these kids are running around the store screaming, bullshit, bullshit. Classy. <laughs> Everyone was laughing. <laughs> you know, when they understood what was going on, just to see a bunch of kids running around screaming bullshit was hilarious. And I was dying just hearing the story. <laughs> All right. I'm like, I couldn't breathe at the end of it. All right, going to end the round and send it over to you. All righty. So we're gonna have another $1 round um, and 
In the 80 spot, we've got Star Trek V, based after the movie. It's a DC movie special. B is Infinity Crusade number two. C is Civil War two number four. D is Uncanny X-Men Annual 18. E is X-Men Blue 13. F is Hawkeye, the Matt Fraction one, number nine. Uh, G is New Mutants 91. And H is uh, Star Wars, X-Wing, Rogue Squadron uh, 3 of 4. So this is a $1 round. All right. There's your starting line. Uh. So, not much else going on here for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just killing, man. Yeah, killing time and just hanging out. Woo! I'm going to drop some Spider-Man books next. So, any Spider-Man fans out there, get your fingers ready. Some nice entry stuff. You can go ahead and um, move on if you'd like. Yeah, just give me a few more minutes to set up. My cat decided to park himself right on my lap, so I have to. Oh, work. that's fine. I have to work around him because <laughs> he still has those back claws, and I want him to be friendly. Did he come without claws? <laughs> what? Did he? Was he declawed when you got him? No, he. We got him. He, we got him. You know, real little. You know, you know, just after fresh from you know, being able to leave mama. So yeah. we had, no, we did, we declawed because we're not, we're not fans of the claws. And my wife was that, my wife was that same way until when our cats decided to jump up on him or jump up on us, basically climbing up. It's like going, ow, you son of a, and then there goes a flying cat. <laughs> All right. Ending the round. And yeah, it's a slow day. What can we say? See if out. All right. Got a $2 round here. Got Amazing Spider-Man, $5.76, um, $6.99, and $5.64. Don't know how that came on there. There we go. And uh, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vow, number one, the uh, Battle Secret Wars variant, although it should be a blank cover for all it's worth. You know, Uncanny X-Men, number two, and Lois Lane, Number four of 12. Again, this will be a $2 round for the 13th round. So. Hell yeah, we're almost through like a long ass boxing uh, round or game. Yeah. But yeah, slow day. But yeah, if all, we're, if all we're doing is creating a small a video for people to hang out and talk with while we, uh, you know, wait for those. Burgers to get done on the grill. Yeah. No big. So I'm by me, dude. We're having our official Fourth of July barbecue tomorrow because my wife works her longest day today. You know, because she oh, works yeah. she works Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So she doesn't want to cook when she gets home today, just to get ready for work tomorrow. Gotcha. So, yeah, she works eleven hours on Saturdays. That sucks, dude. Yeah. But she, she's like one of those uh, assisted living kind um kind of you know pe people whatever she takes care of the people who are disabled and can't you know live on their own so yeah it's not hard days just long days yeah so I have another I'm gonna have something else I'll throw up here on the for a buy it now option got Miss Marvel seventeen buy it now for fifty bucks so. Meow. Say hi, Aries. Say hi. Now you shut up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. What was that? He's always meowing, and so my son comes in to ask me something. He goes, "You know, can I like, can I go ride my bike?" Meow. Cat says. <laughs> he did not say that. You just you speak cat now, because <laughs> I do. He said no. <laughs> 
Just teasing him with that. So, all right, going to end the round. Apparently, no one wants Spider Man or X Men. Mm -hmm. Or Lois Lane, for that matter. <laughs> all right. What do you have going for your next round? Um, this is a two dollar round, and I have um, Justice League Dark number one. I have Aquaman the New Wave number one. I have Constantine the Hellblazer number one, and C. Sorry, A is Justice League, B is Aquaman, C is Constantine, D is Howard the Human number one, E is Star Trek and X Men um, number one. F is Doctor Strange, uh, Sorcerer, uh, Surgeon Supreme, number one variant. Uh, G is Civil War, Director's Cut, number one. And H is Swamp Thing, 106. This is a two a dollar a round. All right. Round 14 for two dollars. Dropped your starting line. Okay. Yep. Da, 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 da. So I hope everyone's doing good. Hope everyone's having a good day or will have a good day with whatever plans are coming up. Yeah, just stay safe and healthy and oh, man, even though like we think things are crazy right now, we still we still live in the best nation in the world. And, like, usually when we go through times of strife, it's uh, a sign of growth and change. So we just got to look at this as um, a changing point, and I hope that it's good. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Super Russ. Hope you're doing well, man. Yeah, um, welcome, welcome. You guys, Super Russ did the nicest thing for me. Um you guys know, like, uh, the Donny Cates Thor run? Mm -hmm. um, well, like, I had purchased it, but um, my comic shop didn't have any, of course. And so I had to purchase it secondhand off of um, eBay. And I didn't get it for too much. It wasn't too bad, but it was still, like, 17 bucks. But, you know, because I'm a cheapskate, I was bitching about it. And then, like, Russ, Super Russ, he, like, he sent me $17, and he was like, hey, this just takes out the mailing. I needed to A-OK -okay you anyways. And I was like, oh, thanks, man. That's really kind of you. So. Yeah. I got Thor, I got Thor 5 courtesy of Russ. And that, I really appreciate that, man. That was really kind. Yeah, that's cool. Always nice when you get, uh, when people send stuff to each other, so. Yeah. I, I like sending shit out, too. It makes me feel good. Yeah, we're doing good, full of burgers and relaxing. Well, that's uh -oh. cool. You oh, are grilling. I got my burgers tomorrow, so. What uh, kind of burgers are you gonna make? Just this generic stuff from the you know Safeway and all that. Just some patties on the grill that will. You know, we'll just that will just grill. You know, no, nothing fancy. You guys having friends over? No, it's just us. My uh, my dad and my my uh, mom and stepdad and their and them are camping like they do every 4th of July weekend because it's my uh, 4th of July is my stepdad's birthday. Okay. And my my dad and stepmom, I don't know what they do for the 4th because I don't spend too much time because I don't... It's a, it's, it's a working relationship, we'll put it that way, yeah. with, my, with that side of the family. So, plus me and my wife, just we like to keep things small and simple. I feel you, man. So, missed you. so, yeah, we'll end that round and send it back over to me. So, yeah. All right. $2 round here. So, I got Scream, or a Scream from the Absolute Carnage thing. This is the second printing, number two. Check to Comics, 998. Action Comics, 1021. Wonder Woman, number 68. A Wonder Woman, number 291, with a uh, complete with shiny, shiny reflective card. And Power Man and Iron Fist number eighty-three. So a little two-dollar round. And see if anyone likes any of these. So but yeah, that's my plan. It's just regular old burgers that we'll, you know, see if that we'll see. We'll add some flavoring to and 
it's a nice small little Fourth of July for us. So we're yeah. we're very simple people. <laughs> I'm human. There's nothing wrong with keeping things simple. Yeah. Because uh, being fancy just costs more money. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. Uh, Does anyone have anything that they are looking for? Just so we, we can put it up there for you, maybe help you out. So you know, don't know if anyone's looking for anything or just hanging out with friends on the fourth. So may just be putzing around. Yeah. Well, they can listen to bad jokes. <laughs> I hope they like my bad jokes because that's the that's the only entertainment you're getting here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's there's dad jokes and there's mean jokes, and they make dad jokes look good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I think so. My mom's up in New York. I think she was just going to go for a hike with uh, her boyfriend, and then my dad and stepmom uh, are maybe going to go down to the river. He's got 50 acres on the river. A boat okay. runner. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna go out there just because my stepmom had like, phew, dude, she's had brain cancer and she's had like her third surgery, and mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just she's still kind of healing. <laughs> yeah. Look, it's Bob Man beer. If it has a side of ranch for dip, for dipping, well, Russ is a fancy fella. <laughs> ranch, please. If you want gourmet, it's mustard all the way. <laughs> that is gourmet. Everything else is just pretending to be gourmet. <laughs> all right. Back over to you. We'll end the round. Hey, Jay Hood, man. I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, welcome, Jay Hood. Okay. This is a $2 round. And, uh, oh, my Jesus. Um, in this round, we've got um, in the A spot, um, DC, The Last God, book one of the Failspire Chronicles. B is book um, book one of the, so this is chapter one, book one, and this is chapter two, book one of um, The Last God. And C is Valiant um, Armor Hunters, number one, it's like a chromium. D is Amethyst, uh, Princess of Gym World, number 11. E is a uh, Star Trek double size 50th issue. Um, F is uh, Master of Kung Fu 99. G is Adolescent Radioactive Black Belt Hamsters number seven. And H is Bullseye number one running with the devil. Uh, so it's a $2 round. All right. Round 16 for. Two bucks. And that's good, uh, Jay Hood. Um, art is therapeutic. Yeah. For me, it is. I've, well, I've enjoyed doing my paintings and all that. I could spend, I spend all day just working on it. Yeah, you can get lost in it, and that's what makes it so fun. Yeah. If it's a big one, like my self portrait or something like that, or if it's really detailed, it has to, uh, you know, it, I, it takes more than a day, but if it's a smaller one and it's simple enough, I can actually pound it out in a day, you know, just getting lost in it. Yep. Three, four, five, six. So, all right. Hmm. But yeah, what uh, what commission, um, Jay Hood, or what's the uh, the subject matter? So, you know, because I've been actually thinking one of these times for my anniversary for my anniversary here, because um, it's July twenty fifth is my um, my anniversary. I'll be coming up on five years now. I thought uh -huh. I thought of doing something for something for the two of us because my wife's into comics just a little bit. But uh, I thought if she, I thought if I did something personal, she'd really, really love it related to comic books. You know, like take one of our pictures from our wedding day and get it custom, you know, sketched onto uh, like like the cover I had on here, Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vows. Yeah. yeah. I thought that would be just perfect. Yeah. You know, do something like that. Because we, we, we talked about going to Vegas and getting married and getting 
renewing our vows by Elvis, you know, how that'd be kind of fun to have. So, you know, just to get, get an Elvis, get an Elvis second wedding kind of thing. Yo, Jay Hood, so is uh, Michael Turner, but I'll wait as long as it takes to see some of his art. <laughs> some of the best artists in the industry take a long time. Yeah, Wolverine and Sabretooth. That's I know those guys. They're a couple of knuckleheads. Well, one's a knucklehead, one's a hillbilly knucklehead. Yeah, that's true. They're both hardheads. Um, yeah. <laughs> Although I like the I like the movie uh, Wolverine uh, Wolverine Origin or is it Logan Origin? Yeah. The, when they were brothers, I like that angle. Yeah. It, you know, I like that angle to it. It was yeah. really interesting. I'm trying to think of the best storyline I've read with Wolverine. It's probably honestly the the, um, the Weapon X storyline. Yeah, I think it that that the, the that movie though, The Origins, I think is my favorite Wolverine movie. I don't think I've seen it. That you know, because uh, although I think the next one would be, I want to say, Days of Future Past. I think I like that movie a whole lot. Um, but now I haven't seen Logan, the one that got all the good reviews, where it's like little baby X twenty threes in there. Well, the girl, the little girl. Oh, I'm I'm a little bit iffy on that one. I haven't seen it. I'm just like, Bleh. I mean, I guess I guess what well, I guess what makes me not sure what to give the review on it is I don't like the fact that him of him dying. Spoiler alert! Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> You know where he basically dies at the end. There, it's like going, "Come on, you can't." It's like you can't kill Superman, kind of a thing. You know, for lack of you know, yeah. you can't kill someone like that. He needs to get better. He needs to be, you know, you know. Okay, I'm gonna take my daughter fishing, kind of a thing. You know, let's go, let's go fishing. You know, something. You know, I'm, I guess I'm just a sucker for happy endings. You know, call I mean, me. A zombie. How long do you think, with the healing factor, Wolverine's natural life li lifetime would be? Three hundred years. 400 years well i'm not sure because if he can heal like it well i would figure whatever the rate he heals at you use that same factor and multiply it by a human's lifespan yeah i don't know because i always say with his healing factor he should be immortal because i like how it is in that uh the uh, house of x power of x yeah whatever where he's basically he's around a thousand years from now still being good because technically he should and is because because unless mutant powers do fade over time his yeah. factor of healing shouldn't be affected, even with metal poisoning in him. You know, yeah. I mean, that's one thing I didn't think. That's one thing I didn't think about when they mentioned that. Going, oh, it's the, all the antimatter in your system; it's slowly poisoning you or slowing down your healing factor. I'm going, you know, I did not think of that. It's essential lead poisoning. Yeah, but, but you know, that's kind of a new take that they said that the adamantium is toxic. That's not. That's not um. Old. Like that hasn't been around in the canon. That's newer Hickman shit, I think. Yeah. Well, let's uh, well, can you, well, let's continue this chat. The continue the chat after after uh, I begin my round here. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. So here I got X Factor number forty nine, Universe X number one, Secret Wars number eight, Variant Edition cover of Doctor Doom, World of Metropolis number one. It's a uh, I think a four part miniseries, a uh, Batgirl number forty five variant cover. And Superman the Wedding Album number one, not the uh, fancy cover, but uh, but the other, but the uh, the uh, the normal one. So round sixteen or seventeen now for two bucks. Happy fourth unruly. Uh, happy fourth unruly. But yeah, I don't think Logan's healing factor should be affected at all. I think that he should be one of the true immortal beings, for lack of a better reason. I still think that something should be able to overcome his healing factor if he's um. You know, pounded hard enough by something, it should be you know, something that could you know do enough damage that healing cannot come back from. Yeah. But being slow, like any sort of poisoning from metal in your system, shouldn't matter because your healing factor should go over it. You know, kind of, but you know, like the uh, old X Men movie where Jean's like the the Phoenix blasting away at him and his healing's speeding up. Yeah. Kinda, like her power magnifies other mutants' power, so he's now a super healer. I kind of think that sh I don't think Logan should Wolverine should die just because of his healing. You know, that's, that's one of the reasons why he's one of my favorite X Men. He has the offensive weapon with his claws, and he can heal, and which is a defensive weapon. He's the perfect warrior, you know, powerhouse. 
Yeah, it's just that, like, I mean, w weren't both of his parents both partially mortal? So it's like you figure if you're going to be, like, genetic about it or scientific about it, he's got to be mor mortal to some extent. It's just that, like, how how strong is that healing factor and what does it overcome in terms of the aging? Yeah. So it's all good and all that. So it definitely be something be really fun. We have a uh, coming up here on uh, my the show I did on the knockout. We have Wolverine versus Black Panther. It's a battle of the cats <laughs> our, our animals there too. So, but yeah, coming up next next one on the what's it next on thirteenth here, we got our battle on the knockout: Superman versus Thor. So hell yeah! So I'm excited about that. I know who's winning. Yep, Superman. Nope. Yep. Nope. I can back it up. <laughs> nope. I can back mine up. We'll talk the shit later on the show. Oh, uh, let me see how it is. Let me see how it is. I mean, yeah. I can, but it's just like, I'm not going to do it right now. We won't do any more promoting on who is actually better. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Wolverine, oh, sorry, not Wolverine. Superman is just a Kryptonian. He's a dude from a different planet. All right? You know what Thor is? You know what he is? He's a god. He looks over planets. Superman is a god too, basically. He not basically. If he stayed on his if he stayed on his world, he would have been a normal guy, but he became here and got godlike powers. I'm just saying. Mm -mm. Not a god. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a fucking Heimdall. Got like yeah. Yes, he does. It's called his name is Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> Such a not, lame hound doll. Not every hound doll can have golden eyes. I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> or Bifrost. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't worry. He's still he. You know, it's not like Thor has a Wonder Woman. I'm just saying he's he has that you know that Sif person. Dude, Sif's a Billy badass. <laughs> yeah. And he's got Valkyrie. Well, everyone's got to have a side piece. I'm just saying, but that's no reason to say he's the winner. <laughs> All right, your <laughs> turn. <laughs> oh, he can drink hella mead. Um, so this is a three dollar round. Um, A is Wildcats uh, and X Men Golden Age. Uh, B is the Volume Two of Man Thing Number Ten. C is Volume Two Man Thing Number Nine, and D is Man Thing Volume Two Number Six. E is Uncanny X-Men um, State Bird Variant, where a bunch of birds are pooping on Deadpool. It's number one. Um, e, uh, sorry, F is X-Men versus Dracula, number one. Uh, Mutants versus Monsters, newsstand. Uh, G is Batgirl, 28, with a kind of foily goodness. And H is the new Immortal Hulk, 34, Zombies Variant. So this is a three... <laughs> A three dollar round squirrel girl. Yep, she'd take them on. She'd take them both. Now that's just nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, a lot of fun. You know, both of us have plenty of rich history we can dig through. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot for both of them. They both go back quite a ways with Superman going back. Well, honestly. Thor goes back further if you want to just talk about like canonical fucking Thor from like European, you know, yeah, folklore. Yeah, but I think with our discussion, it should be nailed down to comic books because, yeah, technically you got. Hey, don't try and put me in a box. Uh, I'll put baby in a corner if I want to. Because, no. <laughs> you know. That's what's just not fair, cause yeah, then you have the ridiculous stuff of Thor drinking, uh, you know, because he, you know, drinking from that the horn that has the ever low, the forget what it is, cause I forget my Norse mythology somewhat, but there's something where he was made to look like a fool because he was drinking something that was connected to the, all the oceans in the world, so therefore he can never finish drinking it. Um, that he can never lift this giant serpent because it was the weight of the world, kind of a thing or something. Yeah, it's just. If you tie mythology into the mix, there's some pretty uh, fun and ridiculous things you reach. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is the all kind this is the kind of soul um it's kind of nerd conversation my soul needs <laughs> like here's the thing here's why i think thor would win simply but like he could call upon like the isn't there like a like a, a tribune like of gods or whatever i can't remember it's their name um but like he could just get his like other buddies together and fucking say like so that's like 30 to 50 other supermen oh uh, so you mean he can't win on his own he has to have his friends back him up i see how it is i'm just saying he's got connections that superman doesn't have and he's a god and so he's got well he's got a lot going on yeah, yeah is he a drunk is he kind of is he kind of blind rages yeah he's a bro he's a frat boy but he's a good frat boy well you get, you get your 30 other 30 other drunk um, floor buddies and I'll take my and I'll bring the Justice League in with me and we'll see who's wiping the floor with whose head. All right. <laughs> get fucking Beta Ray Bill and Herc to come smash up on you. Oh yeah, that wanna be Greek Madonna. <laughs> I like Beta Ray. He's my dude. Uh, you can go ahead to you, man. All right. We'll go on in the round then. Yeah, welcome to, welcome to Happy Independence Day Auction, where the nerd conversation's on us. So, yeah, it's cool, man. All right, got another two dollar round here. In fact, I think after this, I might have only one more round of books. Got X. Well, I'll do one more round as well, and then. Okay. But we got X Factor number forty-four, Astonishing X Men number one, Fantastic Four Annual number twenty-four. Justice League number 11, part two of the Drowned Earth storyline, speaking of gods and their buddies. Uh, Black Flag number one. And uh, Aquaman DC Rebirth number 19. A $2 round here, starting round 19. So, oops, $2 round, not 20 round. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Well, yeah, we're talking. We're talking Fat Thor from in game. Yeah, he has butt handed to him. Fact, thank you for making that. We should have to bring that argument down. We're walk yeah. up Thor, You're too drunk to swing a hammer. There we go. Here's the thing. Here's the thing with bats. Old bats. He's just a little rich boy with daddy's money. So yeah, he buys his way to success. Don't make. Hey, bad. don't bring Iron Man into this. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much the same. <laughs> The Iron Bat. Oh shit, that should be a new fucking amalgam crossover. Welcome, Weapon X. Happy Independence Day. Um, what did you have you seen my new uh, intro I that I designed a little bit? Just it was a it's really the only thing that I designed myself. I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with that. I used a little bit of the intro you made for me. So I had fun with it. So, so. Hey Weapon X, I need to get in touch with you um through uh, IG, I've got it, but you just got like one little book from me. Um, I can't even remember what it is, but I have it marked for you. Well, anyways, we'll talk. It's cool. But yeah, oh. Iron Bat, that would be an interesting one. Of course, he has his bat suit thing, so. The Iron Bat. Yeah, but then he could get like a, uh, what's his name? It's not Pepper Potts, but who's the guy that talks to him? It starts with a J, doesn't it? Say again? The guy that plays the boy Jar Jarvis. Yeah, there we go. Hey, Southern, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming in right at the end, where we both have one more round left. <laughs> 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 Good to see you. Good to see you. So. Yeah, it's been so. It's been like we've made so much money. Yeah, we're just rolling in it. I, I think I'm. I think we have. I think we're more than Iron Man and Batman combined now. Yeah, pretty so. much. We could pretty much buy our own like Stark tower but yeah but no we've been having a little bit of time here the last what 10 minutes just uh Shoot getting, over. um, getting our prep work done for our for our episode of the knockout superman versus thor so everyone come back on the 13th and we'll and for superman versus thor of the knockout and uh vote for superman because we all know who would win you guys don't even know i'm coming with logic i'm coming with knowledge Thor yeah. is a god. It has been. We see that in Endgame. Um, 
<laughs> no, but he gets better. He like does um, P90X and shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You're all terrible. right. So this is a two dollar round. Um, in the A spot, we have Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos 121. B, we have X Men Volume 2 28. C, we have Marvel Zombies, like it's a compendium basically. So it's like a um, official guide to the Marvel Zombies universe. Um, Harley Quinn. So D is a, a Harley Quinn uh, Day book. Um, yeah. And E is uh, Rune Number One. Barry Windsor Smith on that art. Uh, F is the best defense number one, Namor. G is Amazing X Men 13 uh, variant edition with Rocket and um, Groot doing a 140 uh, X Men 141 homage. Um, and H is uh, Thanos Legacy number one, two dollar round. All right, dropping your starting line. Hey Southern, it's gonna go out Monday. All right, yeah, figure that. Uh... It couldn't go out today. So, but yeah. Hey. I'm really looking forward to getting my Spider-Man book that I had to, you know, uh, knock a few people out of my way to get to it. Dude! <laughs> that was crazy, but I'm glad you got it because, you know, <laughs> you'll love it the most probably. Yeah. Well, I was just having, I was just having fun. Yeah. Hey, 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 I'm claiming. I'm claiming. <laughs> Hey, we oh my it. god, first sell of the day. <laughs> oh, that's why he wants to know because he I, I'll put it in his pile. Okay. Mama's getting rich, bitches. Uh G D and E? What's the shipping lady F? Um uh five comics or less or yeah, five comics or less, I can do five bucks. So G G D, goddamn. Uh G D and E. Yeah. He wants that Barry Windsor Smith goodness. I'll have my own copy too, man. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. So let's see. What condition is that H in? Um, very fine. That's cool. Hey, Super Russ claims B. Okay, so hold on. Let me go to uh, S, C, G. Okay. Oh. Russ wants B. Can't go wrong with that epic cover. Okay. Yep. Super Russ. Well, congratulations. You know, it was a very slow day, and then the fish bit right at the end. <laughs> Holy hell. It was a bloodbath. <laughs> yep. All right. Let me know when you're ready. So me there's I'm right, man. You can go ahead. All right. Well, five more seconds, guys. There's still four more books there. Don't leave her hanging. Let's clear out that board. <laughs> so this has been fun. So all right. In the round and swing over to me for my final round. So this is two dollars. So I got X-Men Adventures number three from the uh, Hit animated TV series season two, X Men Adventures number four, from the same TV show, kind of cool cover, X Factor number one of four, Static one for the kids number fifteen, Captain America number twenty six, and Detective Comics ten twenty two. So hey Alamo, welcome welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Happy Independence Day to everyone. This is round 21, the final round. So, $2 being dropped. It's the final countdown. And I also have this, a buy it now, Fantastic Four 13, 0 0.5 CG, uh, CBCS, but it's the first appearance of The Watcher and first appearance in Origin of the Red Ghost. It's a Verified signature of Stan Lee for asking 250 That's basically fair market value for the book and a Stan Lee signature. And the Man of Steel, number one, number uh, 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 CGC 9.6 of this book. So for 50 bucks and the Stan Lee for, like I said, for uh, 250 So it was a last lap. 
last round. But yeah, this was fun. So yeah, I had a good time, man. Just whatever. <laughs> yeah. Everyone watching, please stop by our our episode of the Knockout. It'll be episode four, Superman versus Thor on July thirteenth. Thinking about five thirty p.m. Pacific time. I'm thinking, you know, that's just an estimate right now. It's about when I can give me enough time to come home, wash work off of me, and be ready to go. Sounds good, man. So, but yeah, so it'll be. It helps to have you guys in the chat because you guys are going to vote on the winner. Plus, you guys can also argue, help argue our cases. That way, we can uh, have more, you know, facts and logic, you know, to show this lady here that she's wrong about Thor. Dude, you're wrong about <laughs> Superman. If Thor was so great, he'd have Super in front of Thor. I'm just saying. No. That's not true. If Superman would so, were so great, he wouldn't need Super in front of his name because he'd have a reputation. Well, yeah. If he didn't have Super in front of his name, he'd still be the man. Just saying. <laughs> I'm glad you're giggling. <laughs> well, yeah. Because, you know, it's true. He'd still be the man. So, just, I, you're just not Superman, dude. He's just not my thing. Never impressed me much. Red read the whole uh superman dies thing and watch fucking doomsday beat the living hell out of him yeah like a baby and i know that fucking thor could sure as shit beat the hell out of doomsday once maybe then he gets his butt handed to him all the rest of the times because that which kills doomsday doesn't do it again so yeah <laughs> Dude, I just spilled candle wax on my cell phone. I'm not happy. That sucks. That's okay. It's, uh, at, uh, least, at least you didn't have a uh, dripping nylon rope on your finger. Yeah, that's that doesn't sound healthy. Well, no, nah, because right there when I was a kid, my dad used to have a plane that you know he had to tie down the wings because he didn't have a hanger or didn't have a hanger put it in whatever, helping him melt the ends of the rope together so it wouldn't fray. And my finger in the wrong place. He wasn't paying 100% attention. One drop and I was screaming bloody murder. And I have the scar ever since. So. Ugh. Badge of honor. Yeah. All right. Going to end the round. I struck out. And you had a good final ending. So. Well, you know, these things, it's the 4th of July. And everybody's doing their thing. Probably shit-faced by now. And uh, that's okay, yeah. dude. Too but, drunk, to, too drunk to find the A through F key. There you go. Hey, but um, I'm thankful that you asked me to come. More than happy to um, come on whenever you want. And uh, you know, I just want everybody to uh, laugh a little, be safe, and uh, wipe your butt front to back. <laughs> <laughs> so yep, happy Independence Day, happy Fourth. You know, th any veterans out there? Thank you for your service, you guys. You know put your life out there or did put your life out there and thank you for that any currently active you know military people thank you very much you and your families mean the world to us and yeah. anyone out there working on the fourth you know policeman or whatnot so thank you for your work and helping and helping this country out so you guys are appreciated even when you're not appreciated so <laughs> so thank you everyone you guys yeah, say not side to side because no one wants a brown smile. Not side to side. That's uncomfortable. I mean, if you lay down on your side, you can do that, but whatever. Yeah, it will It will be itching in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so take care, everyone. Nice short auction, but that what happens when, no one's, when you don't sell books till the very end. <laughs> so right. anyone nice. watching this on the Rewind anything from the, the previous rounds just message us on instagram or whatnot and we can uh accommodate you the prices will still be there so I and mean, i'm sure lady fantastic you know i have no problem trying to find trying to find those books too so my books are here waiting so yep hey guys thanks so much um i hope you enjoy yourselves and uh 
man, Mr. Comics, I really appreciate you having me on here. Yeah, no problem. Definitely a lot of fun. Just like I said, I got a chance to check, crack out the new board and get it all set up. So yeah, it looks good, man. It just, proves, it just proves I need three people to make it work a little smoother. Yeah. So, so um, I think three, three to three to five is about the magic number because uh, you know anything more kind of really slows it down, doesn't give everybody enough time. Anything mm -hmm. less than three, uh, you just you know you feel like a gopher just running everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So take care, everyone. Have a good Independence Day. You know, don't burn those burgers because that's a crime in itself. And uh, always remember, mustard is better than anything else. So wow. <laughs> take care. Yeah. Happy collecting. I'll see you guys next time. Talk Bye. To you later.